Hi, I'm Bill Meehan, Director of Utility Solutions here at ESRI in Redlands, and I wanted to invite you to come to my session called uh, GIS Empowering the Smart Grid at the UC, at the User Conference. Uh, it's going to be on Tuesday at the conference at 8.30. Um, my title here is called Director of Utility Solutions, and the reason why I have that title is because I was involved heavily in the operations of an electric utility system, so that's sort of my orientation. And I think about Smart Grid, and uh, when I think about it, I think about uh, a person I worked with, and his name was Stanley. He was an old-time operations person at a utility, and when a storm would be coming through, he'd hear about it, and he would know in advance whether uh, the, uh, the system was going to be uh, hurt, you know, the trees were going to fall on the wires or what have you, and he would know whether to keep crews or not. So he was very smart. He knew the electric system backwards and forwards. Well, Stanley retired, like many people will do in the electric industry. So they, we won't have Stanley around to be able to analyze these systems. So that's really what the smart grid is going to be about, is uh, having some intelligence built into the electric system, like, for example, having sensors in the electric system to decide, you know, what's overloaded, what isn't, what's going to be impacted, and what's not. Well, when you think about the smart grid and all of this intelligence, you know, you've got to know about where things are located, so location becomes really important. So what I'm going to talk about at the conference is going to be about this notion of smart grid. And, there's really four elements of smart grid. The first one is uh, the ability to put all kinds of sensors out on the customer's uh, devices. So for example, uh, putting in smart meters uh, where people will be able to understand what kind of uh, utility usage they are doing. Whether to, you know, when they turn on their air conditioner, is it going to be a problem or is it going to cause too much energy? So that's one element of it. The other element is you know, to be able to automate the electric system so that when someone crashes into a pole, for example, uh, the system will know, will be able to heal itself, be able to restore customers in a much more quickly way. Uh, the other element would be the idea that uh, we're going to have a lot of renewable resources like solar energy and wind, and that will be a challenge for uh, grid operators, for utility companies. And then really the fourth thing is the, uh, the smart grid will know, kind of like what Stanley knew, where things are going well and where things are not going well. So GIS plays a critical role because GIS is all about location. So where are these sensors? Where are the, the, the places on the utility system that are strong? Where are there places where they're weak? So we're going to talk about those things uh, during the session. I'm going to show a couple of examples, of a few small short demos to kind of illustrate the point. And we're really going to talk about the kind of four patterns that GIS can um, can exhibit within a utility system to help uh, implement the smart grid like you know data management and visualization and uh, having uh, field devices uh, mobile GIS and, and the ability to analyze to find out what's going on with the grid so would like you to invite you to come to my session on Tuesday at the user conference uh, I would really appreciate uh, some input during the session so we'd like to make it kind of a lively session you have some ideas about how the smart grid impacts you and how GIS can help uh, implement a smart grid. So we'll see you there at user conference on Tuesday morning.